Llamero es el tinto. Qué ganas de bailar. I'll drive. The courage to defeat this foreign enemy. Your ancestors. Look at that. Pretty good sized city considering the location. Reminds me a little bit of Houston. Everything is built around the oil refinery. Everybody hold up, we got hostiles in the area. <laughs> Deploying drone. Enemy spotted. Got another tango. Tango marked, but he's got a civilian nearby. That makes five. Looks like the boss's house. Let's go check it out. Just spotted one with submachine guns. We got a Sicario. Close to the dump. Let me get in position. Let me get a good sight line. Shit, I gotta find a target position. Marked. Target acquired. Standing by. They're gonna make you back up. Ready. Call the shot. Enemy down. We're cool. We're cool. No idea what I'm capable of. I'll talk, okay? Just come down. Chopper's approaching. I'm moving to position. I need to get to a better position. Target marked. Target acquired. Fire, fire, fire! Tango down. That was fucking close. Taking a shot.
Sniper, get down! Got a location here for a chemical institute run by the cartel. Looks like the Duchon himself is responsible for training the students. Let's check it out. We've got a possible location on the local Buchon's residence. Sweep the house and get me an ID on this asshole. Got some hostile activity. Eyes on two Sicarios. At the entrance to the camp. Target spotted. Tango number three. Here's target number five. Got a tango. Sniper out there. Roger that. Move it. We need that chopper. Stay low. Roger. Target acquired. Target is down. Building up ahead. Looks like some kind of school. That's the Chemical Institute. Via B Gas, the local oil and gas company, used to train the locals and give them jobs once they graduated. And then, of course, a cartel showed up, and that all changed. Let's see if we can find the boss in there. Is airborne. We're up to 15. I got one narco, by the building. Thank you. 
Yo, cartel sniper on the roof, see? Got a delivery schedule here. Looks like the cartel's getting ready to airlift some supplies to one of their remote bases. Cargo plane's fueled and ready to go. Rebels could sure use that gear, boss. All we gotta do is steal the plane. What do you think? There's a cartel medal over here. It's gonna break some poor thug's heart to lose this. Dad bird approaching. Stay down. Target number five. Okay. Looks like they're settling down over there. HVT spotted. Looks like the local Buchan. Let's grab him and make him talk. You gonna execute him because he hurt your feelings? Don't kill me. Please don't kill me. I don't know anything. I swear. I'm just an assistant. An assistant to who? Marcus Jensen. He, he's the boss. You know, he runs everything. Where can I find him? He's supposed to be at the witch's market later, but I don't know when. Get on the phone. Arrange a meeting with him at the market. Tell him it's important. Then you let me go? That depends on how convincing you are. This is El Cardenal. With an hey, it's me. Look, there's something I need to show you. I can't tell you on the phone. Yes, it's important. Okay. Free education and free healthcare. He told me to meet him at the witch's market. In case you feel the need to call him back. Bowman, this is Nomad. The cartel patron in Libertad is a U.S. national named Marcus Jensen. Got it. Let me run the name and I'll see what comes up. Better make it quick. I'm going after him now. Grenade, move! Marcus Jensen majored in chemistry because that's where the steady careers were. Job security, health benefits, two weeks vacation, 401k. And best of all, people were hiring. Marcus got recruited right out of grad school by La Gringa. Shelter guy that he was, thought he was getting a job with the SB Corporation, a multinational pharmaceutical company based in Bolivia, which, of course, it is. He just didn't realize what the product was. But when he finally figured it out, he decided it didn't really matter. He's making more in one month than his friends make in five years. And best of all, <laughs> chicks. So many chicks. Almost as important, for the first time in his life, he's getting respect. Lagringa Station Marcus at the Chemical Institute in Libertad Province. Over the past three years, he's been teaching cartel members how to produce high-quality cocaine. True, most of these idiots never made it past the second grade, but it appears they finally found a subject they're passionate about. As for Marcus, his rationalization is 
Look, someone's gonna make the cocaine, someone's gonna make the money. It might as well be me, right? You are right, Marcus. Just not for much longer. We've ID'd the Buchon as an American national named Marcus Jensen. He's heading to a meeting at the witch market. Go find Jensen and bring him to me. Eyes on Jensen. Take him alive. <sighs> hands! Show me your hands. Do it now. Goddamn fascists. You've got no right. I'm an American citizen. Stay where you are and put your hands on your head. Don't make me tell you again. Yeah? Or what? Shit, Jensen's hey, getting away. The royalty's making a run for us. Engage him. Get your goddamn hands off me! You try that shit again and I'll put a bullet in both your legs. You read me? Now shut up and move. Fire, fire, fire. Roger, what's going on? The lieutenant's on the run. We're in a target four environment. Chopper, down, down. No idea what I'm capable of. I'll talk, okay? Just come down. Call to the rebels for a diversion. We copy, Kumpa. Someone's headed to that position. Here's your right, compadre. Fire. Copy that. Sniper, get the fuck down.
This is bullshit. You can't just arrest somebody for going to a fucking market. Save it, Jensen. We know all about you and the cartel. What I don't get is this. You're a scientist, right? So what the hell were you doing at a place like the witch market? Processing cocaine isn't just about solvents and reagents. Not the way I do it, at least. I get powders from the brew host that speed the process along and make the result more potent. Yeah? Like what? Like, fuck you. That's proprietary information. You want my secret recipe, you gotta pay for it. No fucking right, you hear me? You don't have any legal jurisdiction here. I mean, even if you did, I'm a U.S. citizen here on a legitimate work visa. You're facilitating the manufacture of an illegal substance. An illegal substance that provides income for a gang of rapists and murderers. Not my problem. I'm not holding a gun to someone's head. I'm not making anyone take any drugs. People make their own choices. That's what individual liberty is all about. Fair enough. Take this fuck outside and shoot him in the head. Wait! What the hell? You're right, Marcus. We don't have legal jurisdiction in Bolivia. So I'm gonna exercise my individual liberty and ask my associate here to blow your goddamn brains out. Wait, wait! You got something to say? Look, can't we... can we make some sort of a deal here? Sure we can. You tell me what I want to know and I won't put a bullet in your sociopathic skull. Fuck! Fine! Fine! I'll tell you what you want to know. That's all I'm asking. Get down. We got a sniper, get down. Desperate people make desperate mistakes. And I had made El Yayo and La Gringa desperate. I pressured them too much. But I had no choice. The attacks on our production were increasing. It was hurting our supply chain. If something was not done, we would lose our market share. So I pushed them to produce more coke. They couldn't do it, so they started to cut it, dilute it, lower the quality to increase the quantity. An understandable mistake, but a mistake nevertheless. I had spent years branding Santa Blanca, a quality product, the best in the world, a primo price for a primo product. Problem was, the product wasn't primo anymore. And someone had to pay for that. El Sueño's discovered that La Gringa's down, been down, the chopper. purity of her cocaine, and he sent his people to kill her. Get to La Gringa and bring her in. She's got nowhere else to go. Heads up, hostiles in the area. Santa Blanca are throwing lead. We want to get some. Fire. 
Move, move, move! Call to the rebels for a diversion. Contact, front the of the hacienda. Understand? But we've got to move right fucking now. I won't get far. Not like this. I know someone. He lives in a village not far from here. The rebels, they take their wounded to him when they... How old do you know that rebel doctor? He won't talk to the cartel. If that's what you're afraid of. They don't scare him. He's the bravest guy I know. We met when I was working at the NGO. The fake NGO. He was the local guy. In a few years and a few tons of coke later, he introduces you to the rebels. He needed medicine and vaccines. I had the money. I don't get you. What do you get out of playing both sides? Hell if I know. I came to Bolivia to help people. That's all I was trying to do. You gotta hold on, Green Guy. We still got a ways to go. I don't know about that. I'm going, I'm going into it. Is she gonna make it? She better. What were rebels doing protecting you? Get ready. Fire. Oh, I'm shooting these fuckers. Get back to it. What were rebels doing protecting your house? That guitar wants to send them. To protect me. I feel cold. I'm starting to feel cold. Why would Pat Katari protect a cartel scientist like you? Uh, I, I've been using this when you... Get back to business. Uh, I, I've been using the Swainer's money to buy medical supplies. Who are you? What do you want? You know this woman? What happened? Believe me, Doc, it's better if you don't know. She's got a GSW to the shoulder. Can you help her? Si, sí, por supuesto. Leave her with me. I'll do everything I can. We'll buy you all the time we can, but you need to work fast. I've got a feeling Sueño's not done with her yet. Contact. Swenio sent another crew after us. Take him down. 
fire. Let's copy that. Opening fire. Grenade! Grenade, get to cover! I'm asking the rebels to draw their attention. I asked the rebels to drop off. Helicopter, up. get down. Helo's fucked. Calling for indirect fire. What's the word, boss? We've given the dock all the time we can. One way or another, we're getting Lagringa out of here. Okay, Gringa, time to go. Please, just give me a minute. Stop the bleeding, but I got a ball of lead in my shoulder. The cocktail the doc just gave you? I bet you can't even feel your face, let alone that bullet. There. We're leaving. You feel like you're gonna keel over a puke? Just look at the horizon. It'll keep you steady. Let's go. Focus on the mission. Uh, I've been using Swainier's money to buy medical supplies. Pack didn't mention that shit to us. How would I know? into the cartel's comms network. Let's deactivate it. They are empty hopes that can only be achieved through tyranny. We're at the extraction point. Let's get her to Bowman and call for a dust-off. Bowman, we've shifted up. It's called tactical field care. Stop being such a pussy. Oh, God. God. Here. Open it. Open it. Her extract is ten minutes out. Oh, fucking hell. I'll be glad to be rid of this whiny bitch. Your little clinic might have bought you some redemption with the rebels, but that crap doesn't play for me. But with a set of lungs like yours, you're gonna be a big hit in prison. Why don't you just let me die? The thought had crossed my mind. But five years from now, ten, hell, maybe even fifty years from now, when I'm so old I can't even wipe my own ass, it's gonna make me happy to think of little Mousy Lagringa and all those nasty friends she made in prison. I don't care. I'm happy to go to your prison. 
A lifetime, ten lifetimes in prison is better than Sueño. Your worst could never compare to his.